I can show these are the hazelnut trees. Yeah, sure. We can go check out if there's hazelnuts. Because <laughs> there should be. Melanie McInnes is Métis and grew up here on her family farm in Langley, B.C. And always by her side is her dog Atlas, the mascot. She says she is happy to be able to continue to live here all her life, but says it's been a bit of a challenge to keep it viable. So they had to get creative, and that's where Locality Brewery was born. So we grow barley, we grow hops, we malt on site, which is basically the roasting and processing of the barley to create malt for the beer, and then we brew the beer here. So the field, the glass experience, kind of like a winery, um, but with beer. So you can sit and enjoy a beer that um, you're surrounded by the ingredients and other farms that we use the ingredients from as well. And here inside their brewery, business is good and they are busy. They brew everything from IPAs, their homegrown honey lager, spruce tip pilsner and ales such as strawberry milkshake and hazelnut coffee cream to name a few and also their homegrown apples that they use for their ciders. They just opened Locality Brewing three years ago, but it took a while to get here after initially starting with a dairy farm, then cottonwood trees for the Scott Paper Mill. On the ninth year, the Scott Paper Mill shut down and we had 36 acres of cottonwood trees and no one to sell them to. And then, as luck would have it, a film location scout happened to fly over their 94 acres of land and spot the cottonwood trees. They were asked if they could shoot a film called Scary Movie 4 and that's when the McKinnis family expanded into the film and television business. Um, and then Peter DeLuise came along with a film called Beyond Shearwood Forest. It's like a Robin Hood type movie. And um, after, through that, there was a lot of horses. So we met a bunch of cowboys, horse wranglers. And um, some of them mentioned, hey, you guys should build a Western town. Like, uh, you know, movies are always looking for these kind of stuff. So we kind of were like, we we're trying to figure out what to do with the farm. So we decided to move the buildings and build a Western town. And after her whole family chipped in, this is what they created. It's called Jamestown, and it has been the main location for a TV series called When Calls the Heart. It's similar to Little House on the Prairie, and Michael Landon Jr. is the executive producer, writer, and director. It's now been 12 years since that series moved in, but also on the property is a cave that's been used for Riverdale, Last Airbender, and Fire Country. It's made out of foam, but looks real. They also built this cabin, which has been used on numerous film and TV shows as well. She says she and her family are proud of what they built and are excited to expand to hosting more events and their business. It's a place that I always felt something amazing was going to happen and people would come here. I felt like this was a place that would draw people and people just would have to come here for some reason. Um, but I couldn't have even known that farm brewery and when Calls the Heart and films, Western film set, no, none of that was in my, my vision was very phasey, hazy, and then I was just like, I think it's special, so we'll just keep doing everything it takes to try and uh, hold on to the family farm and, and, and share it with the world. Tina House, APTN National News, Langley.